Locking down the truth with Marcy Locke and Cloud Zone. <sighs> Sky. So Sky had a lot of emotion tonight. Um, <sighs> he was expressing himself and being heard on a lot of his thoughts and feelings. And I, I asked him if he was open to sharing how he got to look at this and process through this, because I feel like this is where these things start and happen, that we take on these beliefs about our life. Um, and, and so Sky kind of just niche it up as to what were you, what, what did you experience today? What were you, you taking on and believing that was making you feel really heavy and limited and that have I a lot was, of emotion? Um, that I had to prove myself and that the haters were hating. <laughs> <laughs> I experience haters too. They're so much fun. <laughs> so, so you had, he's dealing with some bullies at school. And he is doing all he can to uh, be in the school system that says these things are due and this is what's happening. And he's striving to get certain grades. And he felt like he had an experience when he got home where he talked to his dad and he felt like his dad was upset that he didn't turn in, in something. And he took on like, you know, it doesn't if I make a mistake, I'm bad and wrong or I'm not good enough or I have to prove myself and I'm a dumb, stupid kid. So what else was there? There's several awesome thoughts and emotion that were going on uh, awesome yeah they were yeah. all gifts right okay they all um, taught you something so so you felt like disconnected from his dad disconnected from his life he said i hate my life right now because i feel like if i make a mistake it's it's um everybody judges me instead of seeing all the great things that i'm doing so how many times have we walked into our kids rooms and said Oh, you missed that instead of, wow, you did awesome. Look at all the great things you did and how well you made your bed and how awesome you did it. Oh, okay. Let's be aware. Is there anything else we get to catch? And it's about how else do we get to grow? How else do we get to expand? So I want his experience in school to be that it's all just about him learning more and expanding more and finding more of himself and what he likes and doing the best he knows how. And that I told him tonight, I said, you, I don't, I don't, I don't give a rat's ass about your grades. I don't do I, <gasps> I don't give a rat's ass about his grades because they have nothing to do with his value. His teachers, the school, the people at school are, he doesn't need a confirmation from them on how awesome he is, on how great he is. So what the truth is, if we know he's a son of God and he's got value and gifts to share, then the truth is anything else he believes is a lie. So we got to tune into like how he's feeling. He got to fully be heard, fully express, fully cry, fully look at all these things. And what we looked at was like, okay, so is this working for you trying to prove that you're good enough? Mm, amen. <laughs> it's not working, is it, babes? So what we were looking at is like when he's stuck in this struggle of trying to prove it to his dad, trying to prove it to his school, trying to prove it to people there, it's a fight every day. So we got to get clear on a lot of emotions and we even created a conversation with his dad tonight to talk about these are the perceptions he has that he's not being appreciated for all he is doing and what he is good at and he's like striving to try to be good enough and all this. We got to break it down with his dad and create a healing conversation with his dad and and he's, you know, got to create awesomeness with his dad, right? <laughs> so so um so what was true? What was true? Remember um, I talked about what are lies? How lies. do we help how do we help the kids or even the parents or anyone watching to know what is a lie? How does the lie feel? Remember lies are death. They're they they do give you death. Lies are limiting, limiting and they feel yeah. heavy. They don't feel good. So I'm like, babes, when you believe these stories that you should show up a certain way, that you have to make other people like you, blah 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 blah, how does it feel? It feels not good. It doesn't feel good. It feels heavy. It feels horrible. Do you think you're more, you're going to have more power to, to go out and have a great life by believing I'm a gift, I'm awesome, <laughs> I, I have value to share, or I have to show up a certain way, I'm afraid people are going to judge me, I might be rejected. Which one do you think you're going to have? Would you like me to move my hair? Yes, because... <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you going to have more uh, of a greater life experience or more capacity and power in? And he said, obviously, the second. So this is the truth. Here in my mouth. Truth is, feels light, and it will always set you free. So he went through all this emotion feeling heavy and feeling limited, and we created truth, which now allowed him to feel light. And remember, the truth is I'm perfect, home complete, just as I am. The school, the grades, other people do not give me that confirmation or allow me to create happy. I choose happiness because I know I can. Anything else you want to share on that? Um, power of choice is yours. Choose your yeah, best life. Yeah, that's usually how we lock it down. So, so let's <laughs> let's wrap up and reframe. If you don't feel good. Feel it. Lean into it. Look at it. What are the thoughts and the stories? It's and evaluate. To, it's better to feel what you're, what you don't like, 
about what you're feeling, mm -hmm. feel what you're feeling, instead of keeping it in and just, like, keeping it a secret. Or else you feel like you want to break something sometimes. That's what just, yeah, we talked about it's I okay felt. to feel angry, too. It's okay to feel all these emotions. So he just gave you a golden nugget of truth is when you hold and store all this stuff in, you just create lack mm -hmm. and limitation instead of fill your feelings, get clear on it, and move to the next thing. Create the solution, right? So now what we're focusing on is how do we get to create some solutions? We've got a meeting tomorrow with, you know, the bullies and his teacher and moving forward on that along with some other things. And he created solutions with his dad. Boom. Locked down, right? Yeah. Now, power of choice is yours, yo. Power of choice is yours. I already said it. Choose your best <laughs> life. Lock it down.